Will there be anybody who will be able to intercede for them in their favor? Haan tum haulai jadal tum anhum fir hayat dunya. You went to the Prophet, oh, oh, Ya Rasulullah, just forgive him. Just ignore. Please, he is my brother. Or he is related to me. You have been advocating their cause. You have been pleading their cases. Haan tum haulai jadal tum anhum. فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا فَمَنْ يُجَادِلُ اللَّهَ عَنْهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Who will be able to plead in their favor on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection? أَمَّنْ يَكُونُ عَلَيْهِمْ وَكِيلًا Who will become a protector for them? وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُوءًا أَوْ يَزْلِمْ نَفْسَهُ سُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهِ يَرِيدِ اللَّهِ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا But whosoever commits a mistake and he has wronged himself, committing a son, Sin, you are doing wrong to your own self. So, but then, just as we read, you know, before, then he apologizes. He repents. He, rep he returns to Allah. Summa yastaghfirillah. Then if he, if he really repents and asks the for forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yajidillah ghafoor rahim he will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ready to accept the repentance. He is tawwab, he is ghafoor, he is rahim. Now let me tell you the ayah which we have already read. Fastafrillah, O Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you should also beg the pardon of Allah. You should also ask the forgiveness of Allah. And there is a hadith in the Sahih of Imam Bukhari from Hazrat Abu Huraira radhiyallahu taala an. According to which the Prophet said, Inni la astafrullaha wa tubu ilayhi sabiina marratan fi kulli yawm. I ask the forgiveness of Allah and I repent before Him every day 70 times. But you know, the discrepancy or the shortcoming of the Prophet is something else on which he used to repent. Our sins and our shortcomings are something else. Don't you know, guess one on the other. If there was some some lessening of the intensity of love, intensity of love, has decreased a bit. For Muhammad Sallallahu it was also a sin. He thought, Inna yuhanu ala qalbi. I find sometimes, I feel there is a wheel on my heart. And when I feel that, there is some wheel on my heart which is in between me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I repent and make tawbah towards him. So that is a different case altogether. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُوًا أَوْ يَزْلِمْ نَفْسَهُ سُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهَ يَجِدِ اللَّهَ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا Whosoever commits some evil deed or he has wronged himself and then he apologizes to Allah ask for his pardon, ask for his forgiveness, he will find Allah that he, that he is ghafoor, he is forgiving, Rahim, he is merciful. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikri hakeem. Allahu Akbar The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. 
The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.